Hey people, it's Miles, and if you guys didn't know, I played Team Fortress 2, and I made medic and engineer, but I always played casual and never had any competitive experience, despite watching numerous Sixes games and a lot of Salty Fish Highlander matches because it's funny, I never actually played any competitive. It's a scene in TF2 that honestly, it overwhelms me. Well, enough of speaking about this, let's talk about how I got invited to play engineer on a Highlander show match. Well, I am just a casual player, but I'm friends with some competitive players. And I should mention Legon TV, which is a Twitch channel that streams competitive TF2 matches. And I got recognized there for watching a lot of their live streams, even if it's just for a little while. And I got to know the streamer and his friends. And one of the leaks that Legon TV streamed was Brazil Fortress. And one day Brazil Fortress's admin, Awake, announced the Halloween event on a live stream which included SFM, art and loadout contests, as well as a MVM and a jump race. And there was also a Highlander show match, then the wake let us know that they needed an engineer. So they way awaited and was excited to watch the event. Well, until wake added me on Discord and DM'd me. Hey Miles, you doing good? I'm doing alright, hope you are as well. I'm awake, Legos mod and Brazil Fortress's admin. Yes, I am aware of it. Do you play engineer? I got confused by the question, but I still answered. Yes, it's my second most played class. Perfect. Do you want to participate on our Halloween show match? He explained more of the event, even though I knew most of it, and I just responded yes. I was really excited for it, and I joined the Discord server and waited for the day. Boa, hein, Miles? Tá preparado, Miles, para jogar aí com os caras que pelo menos aí o que eles têm de hora você tem de vida? É óbvio que não. <risos> the hour came and I was not ready, but Lego wished me good luck and I got to the team BC. It only had me and my friend Kito at the time, but slowly yes. but surely my team yes. got into the VC yeah, until it got to seven people and there was no demo man nor heavy. So Awake got into the VC and told us they would route another heavy and demo for us and then we waited on the match for our teammates and they came and our team is formed. And after waiting for a little while, our match finally started. And our match started and I did my normal setup, which is pull out my Eureka effect, put the teleporter, bring out my gunslinger and run to the front lines. I was really, really nervous because there was a lot, and I mean a lot of competitive players there. I was just a casual player, I couldn't do shit. But I won't complain about myself for 20 minutes. I'll let the log speak for me. Now allow me to explain about the map. Whenever a team captures the point, wacky stuff can happen, which include crits, skeletons that can kill you, a meteor shower, and a portal to the underworld. For the third point, I did my normal rollout, but I actually equipped the Jag instead of the Gunslinger. And this was just a test to see if it works better or not. I built a level 3, someone destroyed it, and yeah, there is nothing much to say. And after we finished the third round, I will equip my gunslinger, but then I realized, oh, we won! Yeah, that was actually a first to three cough map, so we won! And then we went to the next map. <laughs> Hassel Castle is basically upward, but Halloween. Hey! Sorry. It's okay! I actually added this guy on Discord because of that interaction. We're kind of scripted here. Uh, the match started. A hey, and I just killed myself on setup time. Let's go. Oh, Miles. I'll back on <laughs> First blood. As I get out of spawn, I try to put this dispenser here, but it doesn't work. When it does, my team is already a way ahead, and I just have to move it right after I build it. That's not fair. Anyway, let's skip to the good part. We didn't waste much time to push the cart, so we did the first three points fairly easily. We can surely win this with a respectable time, right? 
Now it's our time to defend the point, and I just did the Jag Effect rollout that I saw in an engineer video before. Shout out to Uncle Dane. I know I am the core of the defense since I'm playing engineer, and I will use this force for good. And then a spy kills me. Didn't even took a minute, what is this? And at the second point, my entire team died, so I had to go back to the third point and defend there. After my sentry got destroyed, I built another one and get me backstabbed by a mini spy. What? And after some time, my entire team gets obliterated. There is no way we can defend the third point now, now we just had to stick with last, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about spells. So when you collect these books, you can get random spells. And Shot just so happened to have the Meteor Shower. And Shot threw that card and made every single player that was pushing the payload die. I guess that's why he's the GOAT. And we are actually able to pull off the defense there just because of that Meteor. And then I realized something. Oh wait, my sentry is actually getting kills. What? After getting back, a soldier jumps on me, and holy shit, what is that reflex? Where was I? Oh yeah. After that, I decided I will lock in, as the Uncle Dane from my inner thoughts talked to me. Sentries get kills, dispensers save lives, and teleporters win games. Well, looking back now, there isn't much I did there. <laughs> but hey, that was the best moment I had in the entire match. I'm kind of proud of the last moments there, even though the blue team couldn't do shit. This show match was a best of three, so we have won already. We just need to play the last map. So let's go, shall we? After a moment, I finally downloaded the map because it's a community map and two of my teammates had to leave so we had to change them. So Lox and Ragequit joined the team as Demo and Sniper. Hey, I don't have much to talk about this map, but still, it was better than Cauldron. But one thing for sure is that I had a lot of fun on the second point and we lost that point, but look at the last defense. We capture back with 15 seconds left as we go to double overtime and as they almost capture our demo just goes fucking nuts with the sniper but there is still no one at the point so sniper and demo died and I tried to rush in but didn't work and they got the point that was a seriously fun round and we lost the rest of the rounds we won by the way <laughs> and as we get out of spawn the server just closes and it announces that my team has won and that was it for my first competitive game as a casual player. And that was my competitive match. And you know what? I had a lot of fun on this match. Yes, there was a big skill gap. I know I got destroyed, but still I had fun. Of course, there are some toxic people in the TF2 competitive scene, but I haven't met them, so I didn't receive any complaints. But I learned one thing for sure. Competitive TF2 is scary for having some of these people I heard a lot of names that I should watch out for, I really did, but when you take the right steps, have a good mentality, and not giving up, you might have yourself in a good place in the TF2 competitive scene. My name is Miles, and I'm signing off. See ya! Hey, subscribing is free, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I also want to give a shout out to my newest members. Shout out to Magi Articuno and Atomic HD. Without your help, I would not be here. Now I'm actually leaving. See you guys later. Bye.